Thank goodness I found someone I can report to. And better it's not the Night Regent. Remember all those lost pirates swarming around that den to the north? That was a small affair compared to this place. Good old Minister Lochnear was here, sure enough. There's another one of those glowing altars, but this time I don't think he's meaning to draw the pirates in, but rather send them forth. The rotten bastards are loading up their ships with explosives as we speak. I'd wager they're sailing for Pride when as soon as he gives word, they'll blast the town from here to Connacht. Well, we've discussed this partnership before, haven't we? I get the lay of the land, and you do the battling part. You'll be facing long odds, but you're like a lucky anchor. I'd consider making a wager on you, regardless. Not a problem. I'll always tell it to you straight. I'd suggest you destroy as many explosives as you can, and take out that glowing altar too. Now, what would you have me do? Now there's an order I don't mind following. I could use a cup of mead after all this crawling around. I'll go and tell the night region what's what, but my hopes go with you. It's better if these bastards never set sail.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Now that you have officially joined in our enterprise, you should always seek ways to advance our interests. Missions are available any time on the faction board here, and in other settlements. So she spoke the truth after all. That Grace character told me you'd gone in there on your own, but I had to see it to believe it. I heard the ruckus and saw the smoke. Am I to assume that means your mission was a success? Well, there's cause for celebration. It's even tempting to take the good news to Bridewin right away. But I believe there's an opportunity to strike a critical blow against the enemy here and now. Sir Gawain and his court of lost knights are not far. They're fortified in his ancestral home across the water, Corbinic Castle. I suspect that's where Lochnir has led his unfortunate followers as well. Yes, though we need a plan. They have the Circlet of Swords, and an army of Lost has already fallen under Sir Gawain's influence. Defeating a Knight of Legend will be hard enough, but won't he just return to command them again? <sighs> Is that how that Greywin madman controls the lost? Yes. It makes sense now. I thought perhaps it was Gawain's royal blood. But now, I see. This whole thing is a contrivance of Lochnir's. Meet me at Corbinic Castle. We'll put an end to all this madness.
Well, here we are. This is the moment of truth. If we fail here, I don't know what defenses this tower possesses, but it is clearly well fortified, and Lochner has undoubtedly taken precautions. I would expect... Ah, your courage is unquestionable, and I've witnessed your prowess in battle. You're a force to be reckoned with. But if I'm being honest, I'd prefer not to take up arms against my former comrades, nor the heir of Artorias. Thank you. I will defend this position to ensure none come to the castle's defense, and that Lachnir does not escape. Defeat those villains, destroy that damn staff, and reclaim the crown. I look forward to your triumphant return.
Static Noon!
I think I've been holding my breath since you departed. Or at least it feels that way. Tell me, did you defeat Sir Gawain and destroy Loch Nier's infernal staff? Praise to whatever gods are at your back. I feel like I'm waking from a long nightmare. My thrill at learning of the true heir's return was only matched by the horror of learning what you could become. After this, Perhaps we should consider abandoning this obsession with restoring the royal bloodline. We can't return the circlet of swords to Tirnan Keep anyhow. I think we should return it to Pride. Yes. Though Jay is bound by her duty. She'd make an excellent queen, but she can't even imagine such a thing. I suspect the court training of her youth is to blame. Her humility? will be yet another form. Yes! We'll speak to the people! We'll tell them the truth about Lochnir and the heir! The crown deserves to be worn by a noble ruler. A ruler like Jin Jay. I'll see you in Pridewind, comrade. <laughs>
Really? You found something that belonged to my family? What is it? Who are they? Where can I meet? Oh, give me that! Shoo, she was a prestigious knight in the time of Arturius himself. I can't believe it. This knight business runs in my blood. Thank you for bringing this to me. I'm going to keep it as a reminder. Stop the lost conquest of this kingdom. I have to wonder. Word of your victory has already breached the walls, and we are extremely grateful. I welcome you back to Pridewen as a hero. I can never repay the debt this town owes to you. Oh, I I'm not sure. I do not have royal blood, but I suppose we've learned that the bloodline is now cursed. <laughs> Strangely enough, your friend Grace suggested the same thing just before she left. We were in the tavern after word of your success, and someone mentioned a shipbuilder in Oxborough. She was so eager to meet this person, she left right away. She did ask me to tell you, of course.
In my most dire estimations, I could not have imagined how desperate the situation has become. A few years ago, the Great Cleave was quiet, safe. But now, the Corrupted appear to have total dominion. It means the Corrupted have already conquered all the territory from here to the Shattered Mountain. It means we are too late. Any day now, their forces will sweep south and claim the rest of the island. The walls of Calvary are no match for the might of the forces we've just seen. I would suggest we lay claim to this fort, but the place is clearly cursed. If there's a way to remove the curse from the fortress, it might help us defend against the corrupted. But we will also need to recruit an army of new soul wardens. Search the fort, and then meet me in Calvary.
Well now, imagine finding the only other sane person on this island, here in this accursed place. I heard this bright visual amassed quite a fortune before they up and vanished. They left a stain of evil as well. You joking? I already got quite an earful about the curse before I left Calvary. People down there don't like to talk about the bright vigil. But with a couple of coins, I heard what I needed to hear. Ah, if you want to share in the secrets, you'll need to contribute to the cause. You know that. This place makes my skin crawl. If you gather up valuables the vigil stashed here, I'll tell you everything I know. <laughs> We're talking. I see you found some shinies. Don't forget, all this is going toward buying a boat to get off this crazy rock. I suppose you're more interested in hearing about this course, though, aren't you? Well, the dark truth is those righteous bastards turned on each other. And then, of course, they all fell lost. Mayor Pennyfather in Calvary, he knows more than he lets on. Lean on him a bit, and he'll cough it up.
I saw Jonas in the tavern. He's recruiting new soul wardens and entertaining some dream of claiming care done for the order. Barmy as ever. But I'm glad he's back behind town walls. I'm afraid I haven't been quite so successful. The only thing I've learned is that Umberto hasn't been seen for years. The people of Calvary are strangely quiet when the subject of the Bright Vigil comes up. I did speak with the mayor. A bit nervous, that one. Are you suggesting he's hiding something from me? Hmm. I suppose I'm not the best conversationalist. Perhaps you should speak with him. Go on. God's ears! Tell me you're not here to talk about missing priests, cursed forts, or the damned bright vigil. Will you people never stop? Why can't I get any peace? Preposterous! I have nothing to hide. I just don't recall all the gory details. I was busy building this town when the bright vigil fell. Besides, dredging up such dark affairs serves no purpose. It's just depressing. Nonsense! The Lost Plague began before the Vigil was even founded. They just made things worse. But fine, if you leave me alone, I'll tell you. Visit the town of Morgenstadt. Something happened there. Or oh, so I heard. <laughs> 